Hello Leo and welcome to your soul guidance with Adriana. This is an astrology for growth reading. So we're going to look at some energy flows that are going on in your life and on your journey right now and look at ways that you can learn to grow from them. And, and really the big question is what are these energy flows trying to teach you about yourself or about the way you're relating to the rest of the world? So I will also be creating an extended reading if you want to go a little bit deeper. The link to that is in the description below. Um, but let's get started. I'm using a couple decks today. I'll be using the For Hexa Tarot and also the Druid Craft Tarot. And I will show you the cards as we talk, but to start I have to kind of put them out on the surface. Okay. Okay, we're starting with four of earth, two of fire, so a blending, and a two of air. Okay, so it looks like we've got an impasse energy kind of going there. Where we're not, we've got two factions not coming together. Let's see what else is going to come out. Oh, <laughs> the cards, it's like all the cards want to come out for you. They're just jumping everywhere. Four of pentacles, now interesting. We started both flows with this Four of Pentacles energy in, in um, different cards in the same no, same card in different decks. So that's really interesting to me, Leo. Okay, and Six of Cups. Give me one more, please. Where does this card go? All right, Fool at the top. And then Two of Wands. So really interesting, Leo, you're getting, you've got duplicates of the same card. So I find that really interesting. Eight of Swords, and then give me a card for Leo, please. Okay, Justice. So Leo, where you are right now, we're looking at making a choice and we're looking at which path do I go down? This card talks about the different, um, two different paths, all right? And if you have left some karma behind you, meaning that you have acted in a way that negatively impacts someone else's path, or you've done something to create another lesson for you, so maybe you didn't follow through completely on a previous lesson, this card challenges you to make things right. So what I'm seeing here, Leo, especially with it's really fascinating. You've got the Four of Earth card or Four of Pentacles, which is a kind of, it's a stable, but it's a held energy. It's a containment energy. You've got that in identical positions in two different flows. And then you've got the Two of Fire, Two of Wands, identical positions in two different flows. So it's clear to me that you'd like to move forward. You'd like to choose uh, the right way to go forward, but you've got this heavy earth earthy energy kind of pulling at you okay so where do we start okay i'm going to start in the middle four of earth two of fire two of air so you can see here's your four of earth hanging on i'm stubbornly holding on to looks to me like an idea what is this idea about please night of fire so this has to do with who you are what your passion is what direction you feel you need to go and what statements you need to be making so you're holding on to this idea and you'd like to move forward with it but you're holding on to it in a way that is over containing it is this about it's not about the fear of approval why is there over containment It feels to me like there's an external um, source of this control or external source of this containment energy that either you're not getting the support you want or you're being told you can only do this a certain way. There's something that is keeping your energy less expansive. It's keeping it down and you're trying to figure out a way to go forward because, but because you're not receiving the support or the validation from the outside, you're not sure where to go with this. And 
loop down here. Okay. I'm trying to understand if you're not seeing a truth about where you'd like to be or where you'd like to go, that you're not seeing a truth about your vision, or if, okay, it's that the support system, the validation system, the support system is not allowing you to believe fully in what you want to do. Okay, they're causing that feeling of indecision. They're causing that feeling of being held up. And it's really interesting because your next flow has to do with just taking that step, getting out of your head, stopping the thoughts from processing over and over and just going, just taking that leap of faith. Okay, but you're hesitating, Leo. You're hesitating to take that leap of faith. And the reason for that, you're not quite sure if your time has come or not. That's what I'm seeing down here. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is moving, but it's hitting that Four of Pentacles, and we're leaving the past behind, but you're not totally convinced that your, your time has come. And so it's really interesting, Leo, because you're actually attracting that naysayer. You're attracting that person that says, no, you can't do this, or no, this isn't the right time, or, or no, this doesn't look good, but you're attracting all these reasons why you shouldn't do what you're wanting to do, what you feel you need to do. There's some escapism going on. There's some diverting of energy. There's also a little bit of, um, what is that called? Rationalization saying, you know, I, oh, I should be doing this or I should be doing that. Um, Okay, so where, where do we go next? They want me to look at something else in the card, so just give me a second here while I look at this. Okay, so we've got out of all of these, we've got two air cards. We've got one water card. The air is what's getting in the way, the thoughts and the beliefs and the perceptions. Okay, that's why we started with justice. That's really a Libra card. What, which way do I go? What do I do? What's right? What's wrong? And it's like right now, instead of worrying about what to do or what not to do, you're being asked to look at why are you down on yourself? Why aren't you supporting yourself? And there's something going on with this snake here on the justice card. What's going on with the snake? It's really interesting because the snake is underneath the justice figure and it's kind of like these roots. You see that? Okay, what's going on with that justice? You are really feeling stuck, Leo. You're really feeling caught. I want to say stuck and caught between two or, or just stuck in where you are. And it's like you want to figure out a way out. And it's... It's like, is it time to just regenerate? Is it time to just cut all the ties, cut, cut the pull, pull the plug, cut this out and just redo, regenerate, start again with something new? And that's what I feel like you're really stressing about, Leo. Is it time to just go a completely different direction or keep plugging away the same direction you've been going? That's the big ask that's happening right now. So... We're going to do a deeper dive into that in the extended reading. Um, asking where to go next with this. Where? Okay. Just want to give you a little something here. Okay. So, Leo. This is about really asking yourself, if everything worked out the way you'd want, would you still be asking yourself the same question? If everything was flowing the same way, would you still be asking yourself the same questions that you're asking yourself now? Okay, I'm going to continue on with the extended reading. We're going to go deeper into, you know, what's going on. Should you pull the plug? Should you take another direction altogether? What 
What information do you need to have so you can make the best decision there? So if you'd like to follow me over, the link is in the description below. Please also know that I'm still offering private reading, so if that's interesting to you or you need a check-in before the holidays start, please reach out. All the information is in the description below. I'll look forward to seeing you soon, Leo.